Mr. Rennie Foster, the hand, the RF. There you go. What's up, Rennie? How you doing, Tina? How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy to be back in Detroit and mm. around all my Detroit uh, family and, you know, be here and submerge. It's, right. it's a beautiful thing. I love it. Yeah. So let's talk about Van City. Yep, that's is, where I live right now. Is that, is, so Vancouver, is that just like the, the slang for it or, or is that? Uh, you know, like, well, some people, I mean, it's like the D or whatever, you know, okay. it's just like a, I think every city has some name, like has something like, you know, okay. we call Seattle, some people call Seattle Sea Town and things, I right, used to, or, all right. you know, it goes up and down out of style, but I, I just keep it, you know. Uh, I just like it better than Vancouver. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. So what's a Vancouver? What is a Vancouver? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So yeah. I have a question for you. One very important question. What was the first thought okay. when you touched down in Detroit? Oh, uh, this time? Yes. Oh, jeez. Uh, that was about uh, four days ago. Yeah, I, I had to play a show, so... Um, you know, I was thinking about getting to, just getting to the show on time and seeing, I, I knew I was going to see Gary Martin, uh, shouts out, Technotica Records, yeah. Gary Martin, you know what it is, yeah, so I uh, I was looking forward to seeing Gary and playing with Gary Martin, and uh, I don't know, I just, you know, uh, the same thought that's going through my mind since I've been here, just, you know, I'm trying to see people, and that's trying right. to trying to be, be with people and play well, and uh, make sure Make sure you know I uh, keep connected to uh, the place that's important to me. You know, yeah. Yeah. and I really truly appreciate when I you know put the, when I asked if you would come and and be part of this final party, and you said yes. I was like, oh my gosh, Rennie said yes. I'm so excited to have you because let me tell you, I love your show. I love your show. Come on, I'm always picking up your show. Uh, you are, and you let me tag you, and you let me yeah, put it on yeah, your page. Of course, of and look, course. it ain't even associated or affiliated, nah, I but don't you care. Let, yeah. it's, I'm, I'm loving it, and I'm a huge fan of your music. I mean, Thank literally, Thank over the over this year and a few months, I have played so many of your records the the watershed call to the sun thank you that video let's talk about that for a moment what was the inspiration behind that and how did you come to do that lovely video the way you did uh well actually that was um um it's interesting because that was from my girlfriend actually Kara. she she uh somebody she went to school with had 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 gone and taken those photos and um, had also recorded a lot of uh, the, I wasn't ready to answer this question, so there's a lot of like stuff, but it, anyway, it's from a, a village, the Bui village, I believe it's called in Ghana, uh, that was displaced from uh, a company had gone in and built a, a dam there and they had to like, you know, displace the whole village in Africa, right? Mm -hmm. So this this cat uh, from, my, from my hometown, um, went over there and, uh, you know, part of his, like, university thing or whatever, and, you know, uh, uh, he, he established a kind of, uh, I guess it's like an NPO helping these people, right? And uh, he also took those beautiful photographs that are in the video, yes. and uh, he recorded some, some music, uh, the, villi the villagers singing and whatnot, and it's that music that I took, uh, that main vocal sample from uh, Call the Sun, the Watershed edit, Mm. Uh, it's called the watershed edit because it has that in it. Uh, okay. Has that in it? Okay. And um, uh, a lot of people think it's an artist called Watershed who edited the song, yeah, but it's not yeah. at all. It's it's I edited it. it I just put in the water, the the music from uh, the village okay. surrounding this watershed. Okay. So and, and the photos are from the same village. That yeah. is so beautiful. When I, you know, as I try to find music, and I know that you have a very strong affiliation with Soiree Records. That's right. And that's actually how I first heard of you because I got the CD mix compilation from Drive Train. What up, Drive Train? Yeah, big up. And, and much respect, Derek and, Thompson, Soiree Records yeah, family. Yeah, and you life. had some stuff on there, and I was like, this, 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 this dude right here is like alcohol. And so Thank then you. I just started searching for you. And that, that call to the sun was the first one that I learned about you, and I just kind of played it a lot. Yeah, well, it goes back It goes back to 2002. That's wow. when Derek Thompson put out my first record uh, called Monochasm. Okay. And that was, it was on this color series, and uh, 
that was my first introduction to Detroit, like my music. I had nothing to do with Detroit at all. I was just, you know, uh, uh, making house music on my own. I didn't even have a lot of friends in house music. I was, all my friends are uh, from a hip-hop background okay. and very deep into the hip-hop community and the hip-hop scene. And I fell in love with house music a long time ago. So I, I've been doing it on my own for quite a while. But I played... Um, I played at a club with Derek Thompson, and uh, you know I, I gave him some tracks, or I, I forget how it was uh, that it went down, but uh, he released that record, and that was my third record, out, or no, it was like my fourth or fifth record out at all, okay. and the first one on a Detroit label, and um, from then I met you know a lot of people that became very important to my life and my career and okay. whatnot. Okay. Yeah. Now let me ask you about another, like, I'm telling you, I know the names of your songs. Like, most times you hear music and you don't know the names, you don't know the art, but I really know the names of yours. Another one of my most, another one of my favorite, I like Belladonna too. Oh, thank you. Um, but Shouts out to be in mind, still remix for There you go. Yeah. Belladonna is beautiful, but another one that really, like, oh my God, I think I've probably played on the show like five or six times, I'm, I'm almost sure of it, Flotilla. Oh, thank you, yeah. Ooh, well, talk about that one. Ah, okay. Flotilla. Did I say yeah. it right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, that's a, a bit of a touchy topic, okay. especially here because that track originally came out on Transmat, Derek May's label. I understand. Okay. Yeah, on a, uh, on a CD called Beyond the Dance, Volume 4. And then we were going to do a single, a vinyl single. And, um, uh, you know, we... we, we that, yeah, it was it, a, a year or so went by, a couple of years, some time went by, and it, it didn't look like that was happening. So it got uh, released on another label, Ornaments. Okay. Yeah, so the single is actually on a German label, Ornaments, and they did a really good, uh, you know, uh, job with that. You know, shouts out to you and me and, and Ornaments, all the Ornaments people. They awesome. did a really nice job with that. I'm glad it got out there, and I did, um, if you look at the scratching around the, the edge... It says uh, dedicated to Derek May, scratched right in there like that. So even though you know, even though I had to yoink the record from Transmat, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I, I still much respect for. Okay. You know? Yeah. So you're playing at a couple of things too. So talk about some of the places where people can see you real quick. Well, I'm playing tonight at Manjos with Alexander Robotnik and a whole bunch of other fam, and it's going to be dope. And I'm playing on Friday at Bang Tech 12. Shouts out Detroit Techno Militia. And Angel Lannis and Tim Baker and everybody else is going to be there. I'm playing on Saturday at The Works. Cool. I'm playing on Sunday at Drunk Brunch. And I'm playing on Monday at the uh, Motor City Wine. Yes, that's what it is. Awesomeness, awesomeness. Now, you got a record label. Let's shout out your website, your website and how people can reach you, too. Okay, well, my label is called RF. Shouts out to Mark Gerard, my partner in crime. You know, we're running RF and uh, RF Tracks, RF Limited all the companies that we're doing right now and uh you know uh you can check us out at rennyfoster.com okay yeah all right well renny welcome to detroit welcome back to detroit thank you home away from home we always love to have you and i'm excited that you have been officially in my house oh word thank you that's what's yeah. up yeah and we're gonna kick it tonight because i saw you play at tv uh the other night tv you bar had, on saturday you had that dance floor going brother. thank you, you had thank it you going. that's what i do yes yeah. so stick by stay tuned the hump the grinder is gonna come on actually gonna come from behind the camera and sit on the couch with me as well and go over a few things ready you ready I'm ready, yeah. Ready stays, man. Yeah, yeah. Ready stays, man. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, all, I'm always ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ready. Thank right. you so much, okay? All right. We'll be back. We'll hump the grind. Peace. Cheers. Yeah.